Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 6.45am on the morning of Sunday the 15th of October. I'm not up early, I haven't been to bed yet because my sleep pattern is screwed. I'm currently reading Q by Christina Doucher, I think that's her name. Uh, it's very good so far, it's basically... Uh, it's like you get a social credit based on your intelligence basically um, especially as children but also as adults like on your IQ and that determines where you can what you can do and where you can get in life so it's a bit black mirror-y uh, very good so far I've been reading it on the exercise bike and I shall probably finish it on the exercise bike today if I'm awake enough to go to the gym which is a big if because as I say it's 6 45 a.m. and I haven't been to bed yet so we'll see Dane reads Hello everybody, it is me. It is currently 1.33am on the morning of Wednesday the 18th of October. As you can probably guess, my sleep is screwed. Uh, I did go to the gym earlier and did some more on the bike, so another 150 odd pages of books read, which was nice. I'm going to be reading The Bullet Miss by Richard Osman next, I think, so that's very exciting. Um, Shay's not doing too well at the moment, she's just having some bad mental health times, but um, you know, I'm doing the best I can to support her. She's asleep at the moment, which is a good thing. Um, and yeah, I'm just cracking on. I finally replaced downstairs now. I was using this like bracket bolted to the wall to keep the, the uh, kitchen to living room door closed for the new cat, for, for Shay, the cat. And um, yes, now I've finally replaced that with some, some sliding bolt locks. So that's nice. I can now like not have to unscrew something every time I go to the toilet I just got to you know the bolt lock it is a bit weird though because the door opens outwards so the only way I could get the bolt lock the to work was to drill a hole into the floor and the bolt goes down into the floor um, it works like a normal bolt on the other side but again this is the one side that needs the biggest bolt is the one that's the hardest annoyingly uh, oh yeah check it out snowballs up there looking very large Biggie's in the bedroom at the moment. I did try and introduce Shay and Biggie again earlier, uh, and he hissed but at me, and almost took my finger off. I'm not swearing at you, that's the finger he got. You can kind of see where his teeth got it. He grabbed that finger and yanked at it, almost pulled the fucking thing off. Um, but that was mainly because, so he found where Shay was, and then I was like, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here. So I tried to bring him away, and then he didn't like me trying to bring him away. So I don't know whether he's actually you know what I mean? I don't know, we'll see. I've just got to slowly keep on introducing them over time. Um, I've started reading a new book, uh, an audio book of Autobiography by Morrissey, uh, the Penguin Classics thing. Um, so far, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the fact that it is an audio book, to be honest. It's made it, like, a lot more swallowable, I suppose. Like, I'm looking at it here, he writes in these huge-ass paragraphs that are just not necessarily super easy to... Uh, to read I don't know it's kind of overwritten to be honest but you know it is what it is I wasn't expecting it to not be with it being Morrissey I guess um, yeah I've been, been reading that though and um, cracking on with some editing and things like that that's that's what I'm gonna go and continue doing uh, I'm right at the end of Q now by fucking Christina Doucher that's her name right at the end of that that's been really good uh, so Morrissey is on track for a 3.5 out of 5 but I've only just started it Doucher probably a 4.5 out of 5 and I'm now really keen to get to the rest of her books and I learned as well it's called um, what's it called um, masterclass that's what it's called in the US so in the UK it's called Q uh, I actually think masterclass is possibly the better title Q is kind of I don't know Q kind of it I think intrigues me more and makes me want to read it more but masterclass is very clever and quite apt for the uh, the, the novel so I don't know they're both pretty good Anyway, I'll, I'll catch, you, catch up with you later. I'm, I'm probably going to try and sleep later. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, everybody. It is 25 past 10 on Thursday, the 19th of October. Busy day for me today. I've got a call at 12.30 and then my regular Q&A call at uh, 7 p.m. My wrist is, like, flared up. I don't know if you can... You probably can't see that. No. It's gone all red because of where my Fitbit is, basically. In fact, I'm going to take it off again now I'm lying back down and I should probably remember to give it a clean as well because that can help. I just have very sensitive skin so I quite often get little flare-ups when I'm wearing my Fitbit. Um, my cleaner came over yesterday so that was went pretty well. She managed to clean okay even though obviously I've got the two cats now and they can't be introduced to one another yet. Um, 
Well, they can be if if Biggie wasn't such an asshole and didn't growl <laughs> and hiss. Um, so yeah, slowly but surely. Anyway, we're going to try and introduce him to uh, to Shay, and then once once that's done, I can actually have the living room door open. Um, but yeah, she cleaned the house while she was here. I went to the gym. I finished reading Q by Christina Dolce while I was there. A good ending as well. Um, pretty bleak, which I like. So I think probably a strong 4 out of 5. Maybe a 4.5 out of 5. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then I moved on to reading The Bullet That Missed by Richard Osman, the next Thursday Murder Club book. And as you can see, I got a decent chunk of that read. So again, I can read a fair amount when I'm on the, on the um, exercise bike. I will probably go again, um, maybe this evening after my call, we'll see, maybe before, it. We'll, we'll see how the day goes really. Um, and yes, my internet sucks as well, so when I do these calls, I might have to do them on the, um, using my phone to connect to the internet, because my internet connection is so bad. I mean, to be fair, it's because I've been uploading a lot of stuff lately, because I've been working on videos, but still, I should be able to make a Zoom call, you know? It's like, because I just recently signed to renew my internet package and they did say, they sent me all this marketing stuff being like, you can upgrade to fiber optic, which would have been like 10 times faster. So I tried and they were like, oh no, it's not available in your area. And I'm like, well, why did you fucking tell me it was then? So yeah, I've renewed to get the same internet package and it's like they've waited until I renewed to then start giving me garbage internet. Ah. Uh... Hello everybody, it is currently, uh, it is 10 to 11 on Saturday the 21st of October. Uh, busy few days, Shay stayed over last night, I'm just keeping an eye on here. Let me get to the important news first. So, um, I have introduced the two cats to one another. Um, <laughs> I'll see now I can't fucking see, so, so, they have been properly introduced to each other now. And I'm just trying to see on the camera, if I can, what the little buggers are doing. Anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pop in some footage here of the cats uh, finally introducing one another. I'm just trying to keep my eyes peeled now to make sure that if they fight, I hear them, um, so that I can go down and sort it out. But I also kind of want to give them a little bit of time, you know, to get to know each other. Um, Shay is still a very shy cat, and Biggie is Biggie, so I can't hear them fighting, so that's good. But yeah, it's just a stressful evening for me at the moment, I've actually been a bit anxious because of this, because I'm letting them meet one another for the first time, I'm letting them, um, you know, actually be alone together as well, so the first time they met Biggie hissed and got very upset, you know, so it's... Just a bit stressful to make sure they're okay, but I've got the camera on here. Oh, hang on, who's that? Okay, well I can see here Biggie's just gone back out into the into the kitchen. So we will see if Shay follows him. I think she's still hiding a little bit. Um, this is very distracting. I'm sorry, this probably is not a very good uh, <laughs> a very good vlog update for you. But yes, um, what have I been up to? Well. Shay came over yesterday and uh, stayed over last night, so it was actually her first uh, evening away from her cat Luna. Um, so that was quite tough for her, but you know, she knew she needed to do it, I think, and um, you know, it went well. Um, she did sort of start to think now she can see just how big Biggie is, um, given that she's now used to having this little kitten, you know. Um, which is fair enough because Biggie is a large cat. But yeah, she stayed over. Uh, we completed Mario Brothers Wii for the second time, which was nice. Uh, we did a Lego sculpture thing together as well. So our next Lego thing is going to be a Lego thing of the Paris skyline. Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry. Action happening at the kitchen door, Can. I can see Shay peeking her head out. Oh, is she going to cross the threshold? So Shay hasn't been outside of the uh, living room yet. I'll show you here, you can probably see on my monitor. Here we go. Not the best filming a screen, but that's Shay there. So I can see she's just looking at maybe going outside. She's thinking about it. But she's never been outside and she's a very, very timid cat. But um, 
I suppose this allows her to see Biggie and stuff as well. They're still getting to know each other, you know? No, she's gone back to hide. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, if I keep this up here, then I can see from that, I can see if Biggie comes in from here, you know? So yes, introducing two cats to one another. Never done that before. Um, but it seems to have gone well. And it's, it's only been a couple of weeks, so they'll get more and more used to each other over time, you know? As long as they're not fighting from the outset, it should be fine. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I walked Shay home in the morning. Okay, oh, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. <laughs> so I walked Shay home. Let's, okay. I'm going to be watching that while I talk to you. I walked Shay home sort of this afternoon-ish. Uh, then I went to the gym and then met her up, af met up with her afterwards because she realised she had to go to a shop. She had to go to Superdrug. Um, so it was good to see her. And then we met up. Well, we just bumped into our friend Dan in town. Dan, who is an artist. You right there, Biggie? So I get concerned because I can see them right next to each other and I'm just worried they're going to fight and I don't want them to fight, I want them to be friends. Um, but yes, so we bumped into our friend Dan who is an artist while we were there which was good and I came back home and I've been being productive ever since. There is a notification for Dane. Jesus fucking Christ, that scared me more than anything else, that did. Um, yeah, so I'm just cracking on and being productive now, trying to get a little bit of filming and editing done. I'll probably go downstairs in a little bit and um, like watch Netflix on the living room TV and chill with the two cats. Uh, we will see. We'll see how it goes. But yes, uh, I've also finished reading The Bullet That Missed by Richard Osman, which was like a four out of five. Very good. And um, I'm now reading The Silver Princess in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. So, uh, full review of this coming soon. It's, it's okay, it's not as good as the other one. It's a really interesting edition. It's an Empty Grave publishing edition, um, which is like public domain, but they've made their own tweaks to it as well. So, um, yeah. I think, I think that's where we're at. This has been a very distracted update. I'm still trying to watch the cat, and I can't really see. The camera is not in like the right position for me to keep an eye on them. Maybe I should go down and move it. Hmm. No, I'm gonna trust them. I think I'll hear if two cats fight, right? You would think you would hear. Yo, greetings and hello. It is uh, quarter past 10 on Monday, the 23rd of October. Um, just cracking on and being productive, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, had three calls today, which have been tough because my internet is terrible. So I've had to literally been doing Zoom by uh, using my, my phone as a, as a hotspot to get internet access. So that's been a thing. Um, you guys know I was very distracted in my last update because uh, the, the cats, I was letting them hang out together. Um, they had the door open all over all, all last night. It's been fine. It's been fine all day today. So they are now officially friends. Again, as I said, I think I, I think I told you guys I'm planning on popping some um, video clips in uh, in the vlog, so you'll see the progression of them going from enemies to friends, I guess. Um, so yeah, now that's just open. So now the next step is to hopefully get Shay to trust me a little bit more. Um, she. Uh, she, you know, she'll come up and sniff my hand a little bit, but, but that's about it. Um, but she won't even do that. She'll come up if I'm like a foot away. She'll kind of come up and sniff and then back off. Um, but hopefully she'll slowly but surely get used to me. Uh, in the meantime, she's been exploring a little more, bit more. She has been out in the kitchen now. Um, she hasn't been upstairs yet, as far as I know. Maybe she did last night while I was asleep, but I doubt it. Um, I've moved some of the stuff out. I've moved her litter tray and the cat tree out into the kitchen now. Um, Eventually, I want the litter trays to be next to each other. The two cats' litter trays to be in the little nook in the kind of in the corner in the kitchen. It's all sealed off and everything. Um, so if I can get them both there, that would be good. Um, and then the cat tree will hopefully eventually come up up here. I mean, it depends if they use it because they're not really using it. They they like playing with it here and there, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, all is good with them. Uh, after my third and final call today, I went to the gym, met up with Shay while I was there, a uh, human Shay, and uh, yeah, did an hour on the uh, exercise bike, read some more of On The Come Up by Angie Thomas, so I'm about halfway through. It's pretty good so far. A full review will be coming soon. Probably going to be, probably a 3.5 out of 5. I think it's probably my least favourite of her books, but still very much serviceable. And that's about it. I think I'm going to keep this vlog going for another week, and we'll see how we do. Oh, and I'm hoping to go back to doing park run and to do park run um, 
this Saturday morning. We'll see. My legs are okay at the moment. Shay's sitting here. I've just seen her make a few moves. I think she's interested in going to the kitchen. Biggie slinking through here, aren't you? Yeah, you off? You bored of your sister now, are you? You bored? I think he got bored. Well, that's cute. You're watching him and not me. Okay, you're back to watching me. Shay, you want to sniff? Sniffsies. Yeah. That's it. I just wanted a little sniffsies. Okay, I'll see you later. Remember, you got these dreamies. Okay? Dreamies. And there's some more here. More dreamies. Look at all those dreamies. That's a bit of fluff, though. You don't want that. Hello everybody, it is me. It is quarter to ten on Tuesday the 24th of October. Biggie is currently at the top of his cat tree. I don't know if he knows how to get up there or down from there because I lifted him up and just put him up there. So we're now going to leave him and see what happens and we'll see whether he goes back up there again. That for context, that red bit there is where he usually sits looking out the window. But I think he might enjoy this a bit more, don't you Biggie? We'll find out, I suppose. 
Um, Shay, human Shay, is a bit uh, sad today. She's struggling with just mental health stuff. So hopefully tomorrow, maybe I can get her, a, you know, a care a care package with some roses or something like that and some nice nice foods. Uh, we will see. I went to the gym earlier. I read some more of On the Come Up while I was there. Um, about the last 50, 80 pages left to go now, I think. Uh, the only other major news, if it's news, I've forgotten what it was actually going to be. Oh, I was going to give you an update on Shay the cat, which is that she has made it as far as... She's pretty confident with the kitchen now. We moved her litter tray out there. Um, and she has been upstairs. She was upstairs last night while I was asleep and did a poo on the carpet. But at least she made it up here. So there is that. Um, my legs are doing okay at the moment. So I'm hopefully going to do a park run on um, Saturday. We will see. And I think that's about all I've got for you. Biggie's coming down. You trying to find your way down, Biggs? We're just having an explore. Hard to tell with you. What do you think? I put some dreamies in there, so I think you might enjoy that. Um, and yeah, that's where I've, as I say, I've been doing some filming bits and bobs as well. So I'm going to go crack on with those in a little bit. Um, my internet has been dying with me trying to copy things over. So copy things over using Dropbox from my PC to my Mac because my Mac doesn't recognize my camera for whatever reason. Um, but because of that, my internet has just been playing up all week and I've finally got to a point where I think most of the stuff is now copied over. So it's now time to film some more stuff to copy over, you know? So that's where we're at. Wait, what are you up to, Biggs? Can you sit there for a bit? Are you going to be able to climb back up there? You can jump down, I know you can jump down. Hello everybody, it is currently quarter past ten on uh, Wednesday the 25th of October. I slept in, well I worked late till about 4am last night. Um, I've been watching on Netflix, uh, Win the Wilderness. And it's fucking crazy, like the show itself is just some reality show. Basically this guy was the last person, Dwayne Osi is called D-U-A-N-E-O-S-E. -E. Google him, because you'll find some of this shit out. And he was the last person to, uh, what was it called, to create a homestead or whatever. So in the United States you used to be able to go and claim land, build a homestead and that was then your land. And the law changed, but it changed later for Alaska and he went and claimed it out in Alaska right as the law changed. Um, became the last person to do that and he's built this place from scratch lived there for 30 years with his wife and then basically he sold it for a million dollars to the BBC who then created this show where six British couples compete to try and win the homestead um, so I'm watching that and I googled it because a couple, the couple that I like the most got voted out so I googled them to see what they're doing these days and to find their social medias I accidentally saw a spoiler about who won it and then I was like oh, okay well I'm gonna google this and keep googling them well you know what happened afterwards and yeah his wife died who she's in the show she died um, he then married like a younger woman who's basically gold digging him and she's insane She keeps posting under his name on Facebook with all these rants in capital letters about how COVID is a hoax and all of this stuff um, Him and his new wife ended up squatting in the homestead refusing to leave it Meanwhile the people who actually won it um, and who legally owned it were stuck in the UK because of COVID from what I gather they're not, they've, they've just given up. I think they've been paid off and they've just given up. Um, meanwhile, fucking no idea what's happened to Dwayne. All this crazy stuff's happened. He got um, uh, airlifted out because he basically, they were pretty much dying up there. Um, the guy on the couple who won it, he lost his finger in an accident. All this mad shit's been going on. His daughter's like disowned the dad, but not not the guy who won it, the guy who owned it, Dwayne. His daughter's like being like, this isn't the Dwayne we know. It's all just fucking batshit crazy. So the actual aftermath of it is kind of more interesting than the show. But I am sad that Rena, his wife, died because she was nice. Anyway, so yeah, I was watching that till like 4 a.m. Well, no, I was watching that till 3 a.m. And then I spent 45 minutes Googling to see what happened to everybody. 
Then got some sleep. I woke up pretty late this afternoon after like 12 hours sleep. Been to the gym already. Uh, been to the shop to get some bits and bobs. While I was at the gym, I finished reading On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Four out of five, but a relatively weak one. It's definitely the least favourite of her three novels so far. And now I've started reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read and enjoyed Daisy Jones and the Six. Again, I'm 50, 60 pages in. I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. I kind of relate to the main character in it because she's a journalist in her... Um, mid 30s which is pretty pretty close to what i do so um yes i'll be reading some more of that soon a full review of that will be coming soon as well actually i need to decide what book i'm going to read next as well tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m i have some people coming around <clears throat> to do to sort the windows um so getting new windows in the bedroom and the uh, living room so the windows basically i've done the windows that face out that way towards the sun now we're doing the ones that face out that way towards nothing much in particular but they still obviously need doing um but i'm not looking forward to that because that means i have to get up when they get here they also need to get behind where shay cat shay uh, where her den is so i think i might get them to i'm going to get them to have a look and see if they can do the windows from the outside rather than from the inside and if they can um, great. If not, I'm going to have to get them to start up here in the bedroom. And while they're doing that, I'm going to have to herd Shay into the bathroom. Um, she'll go in there. She just doesn't like it. But if I chase... She likes... She's scared of people, you see. So if I close the door to the living room, her only route is into the bathroom. And if I just go and, like, try and pick her up, she will naturally run into the bathroom because she'll be trying to get away from me. Um, but obviously I prefer not to put her through that if I can avoid it. Um, but she is still settling in well. Her and Biggie is still getting on, still playing around. I think that's what I got for you. I'll give you an update tomorrow. Oh, Human Shay is still um, struggling a bit with her mental health. Hopefully she seems to be doing a little bit better. She went to work earlier. We said hopefully we're going um, to go swimming as well. So we will see. All right. See you in a bit. Hello everybody, it is me, it is 10 to 3 on the morning of Friday the 27th of October, um, yeah, slept weirdly yesterday, I did get some sleep and then the guy came over to do my new windows which are now in place and then I fell asleep again and woke up at like 6pm, had a Q&A call for a client at 7, went to the gym, went to stop by Shay's, uh, she's feeling a little bit better I think but still not the best and uh, then came home and have been being productive. I made some really nice food both yesterday and today as well. Um, but yes, now I'm just still cracking on a little bit, doing a little bit of housework. I read some more of uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid at the gym. Really good. It's, it's on course for a four, maybe even a 4.5 out of five. Full review of that coming soon. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to read Invisible Monst uh, Monsters, Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. I used to say Monsters. Uh, when I was young and then people took the piss out of my accent so I changed. Also we had someone on TikTok today taking the piss out of my hair so that was nice. Uh, you know, I don't know, it's weird. I, I, I personally, I don't judge people based on their appearance but apparently a lot of other people do and think it's fine which, you know, I guess that's up to them. Um, what else? I think that's about it to be honest. I'm just doing a little bit of editing at the moment now. Um, catching up with some of that and then we'll do some more filming. I'm, I've only got I guess two and a half review videos left to do because I, I can't finish shooting Evelyn Hugo yet because I haven't finished reading it. So um, yeah, we'll do that. I might be up all night, we will see. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna take today, as in Friday, take that off from the gym because Saturday is park run and I'm hoping to go back and do it again. So I like to, I take the day before park run off so that, you know, I'm fresh, relatively fresh uh, for doing my 5K in the park in the cold it was it was warm weather last time i did it and now it's going to be cold so that's going to be a bit of a pisser yo hello everybody it is currently um five past 11 on the evening of sunday the 29th of october 
Um, been a good weekend. I stayed over at Shay's on Friday. Didn't really sleep because my sleep is screwed. Uh, but then Saturday I made it to a park run. Didn't beat my personal best. I was 18 seconds behind, but that's not too bad. Um, and I managed to run okay. My knee, how's it doing now? I mean, my knee isn't 100%, but it's okay. It's good enough for me to do some uh, cycling at the gym. And then, um, I don't know, on Wednesday, Wednesday is World Vegan Day. And so uh, there's like a challenge in Vegan Runners, which is the group that I'm a part of, um, where they're encouraging everyone to try and run as many miles as possible, basically. So I might take part in that on Wednesday on the treadmill. I'm still reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I haven't been to the gym, so I haven't really done any reading. Shay is over at the moment. Say hi, Shay. Hey. There we go. Uh, she's currently watching American Dad. Other oh, Shay is downstairs. Last time I checked, she was in her um, in her little den. I'm going to see if she's still there uh, super quickly. No, she's gone again. So I don't know where she is. Maybe in the uh, maybe in the in the kitchen. I can't see her, so I don't know where she is. Any who's and anyways, um, I don't think I have much else to tell you really, being productive at the moment because I've got a ton of stuff to do. My internet is still being janky as hell. Tomorrow I have the final one of my uh, client calls with the client that I do uh, daily Q&As on Monday and Thursday. So that's going to be sort of bittersweet. It'll be nice to finish them up though, um, to free up a bit of my time. Um, Shay's been feeling a bit rough, so if she's feeling better tomorrow, we're going to go to the gym. And I think that's about it. Biggie's behind me on the sofa. I need to put those clothes away, but I can't because he's sitting on them. So I'll do that soon. But I'm going to love you and leave you. That seems like a good place to end this week's vlog. Uh, I will be picking up soon, so keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, thanks as always for li listening and watching. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.